what's going on guys in today's video i'm going to be showing you um how to work the domineer 3 what there is about it and so on and so forth so i'm going to be showing you guys um basically how to drive it um as i have never spoken of how to use them before so i hope that this tutorial how you say helps and yeah i'm I'm here now. I should have done this when I first released them, but I am deciding to do it now. Um, so, with all that said, I'm going to go ahead and just jump straight into the video. So now that we have the most realistic um, Dominator 3 right before my eyes as of right now, um, we're going to go ahead and um, yeah get into this tutorial. So um, on the outside, there's not much functional stuff you can mess around with. Um, however, the th things you can interact with from the outside would be the gullwing doors and the trunk. So that's basically just about it from the outside. Um, in fact, that is it. <laughs> On the outside, that's all you can access. So from the outside, the only things you can interact with are the gullwing doors and the trunk. So yeah, very simple there. Um, just go ahead and shut all these doors and jump in here into the driver's seat. So as you can see, um, we currently have um, just a couple of buttons in the Dominator 3. We have four right here. And we have two right here. And I'm going to go over what those guys are. So, on the top left of this, um, or of these four buttons, we have the deploy, which this deploys these spikes into the ground, not the airbags. Um, so, that will anchor the spikes into the ground. Um, the one beneath that, bottom left, is your hood. You go ahead and press that, and the hood will swing open. Um, very simple. Um, and it's not. Oh my gosh, the hood, you have to have the hood for something. It's just details. So, um, And then the top right one is your high beams, which are absolutely blinding and don't want to get look in them. Otherwise, you will run the risk of burning your eyes. Um, so there are your high beams. And then over here, we have these two buttons, which are very simple. We have our starter to turn on the engine, and we have our cab lights, which will turn on the cabin lights. And now, with all that said, that's everything up front that we can touch here. Now, if we go on ahead and move to the back, there are a couple things we can interact with back here. Um, now, on the 2013 Dominator 3, there are two hatches. They work the same way. You just click the hatch, and it'll swing up. Um, it's on both sides. Um, however, on 2024 DOM 3, it's only on one side, since this hatch right here is currently blocked off by the radar. Um, yes, very, very interesting. Um, anyway, so back here in the very far back in the trunk, um, we have our airbag system, which once again, this is just... The, this is the actual wiring for the airbags. Um, it does serve a functional purpose um, if they are broken. The airbags will not work unless you take a welding torch and go ahead and repair it. Um, and then right here, this is how we fuel up the Dominator 3. As I could not find a good spot on the outside to put the um, fuel um, door, like the fuel tank, where you'd put your fuel in. Um, I could not find a good spot, let alone... Um, the fuel tank has to be connected to the engine, and if you want that to happen, the airbags need to be able to go up and down, and in order for them to go up and down, the fuel hose thing has to be able to move freely. So that's just a little interesting. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and get back into the back now. So here we have the fifth seat, this very far back seat, 
and the controls are simple. Simply just press H to reveal your control panel. Um, here, there, it's very simple. We have A and D, and then space and one. So A and D um, rotates the launch pad up top of the Dominator 3, and then number one will launch a probe, um, which is the upper one, and space will launch this one. I guess space was the upper probe. One is the one that does this shoots it off into the tornado and number or and the space bar will launch it upwards so now with all that said there we go um so now moving up here to the front we have a bunch of buttons on the control panel um so we're gonna go ahead and go over all of them a and d is to steer just use a and d and it will steer and then um wow i sent that flare way way up there oh my word um anyway simply use a and d to turn your steering wheel um use w and s for your throttle which i'll get to in a second um now to deploy the airbags um you i think the little probe came back hold up we have to dispose of the probe sayonara little buddy oh no and sayonara Anyway, um, with all that said, um, <laughs> uh, anyway, so the airbags are simple. Use the right arrow key on your keyboard to drop the vehicle flush to the ground, and use the left arrow key on your keyboard to lift the vehicle up off of the ground. And then that's basically it for airbag wise. So to deploy the Dominator 3, simply hold down the right arrow key, and then you're going to click deploy right here to deploy the spikes. Or you can click the one key on your keyboard too, and that'll also deploy the spikes for you. So there we go. Now the Dominator 3 is fully deployed, and now it's also fully undeployed. Two is simple on your keyboard. If you click two, it'll turn off your parking brake. Um, something to note is whenever you first spawn in the Dominator 3, um, you will have to most likely press the parking brake button twice to get it to roll because toggle button logic. Um, number three is for your left and right indicators, which don't serve a big functional purpose. They're just kind of there. Um, yeah, they're just kind of for looks. Um, number f number five is for your heater to turn that on in case you get cold. Um, and then six is just a faster toggle for your low beams rather than having to go inside and click them manually. Now, let's go on ahead and move to the last thing on the Dominator 3 and what you need. Um, simply, we're going to go ahead and start driving the Dominator 3. All you need to drive it is to ensure that infinite fuel is off, infinite electric doesn't matter, um, and then go ahead and just click the start button. Now the Dominator 3's engine has been turned on, we have our temp and fuel gauge here, we have our gear, and we have our miles per hour, and we have our wind speed over there. So, let's go ahead and start driving. Let's ensure that by using the 2 button, our parking brake is off, and we're going to use W to go forward. Alright, we're now moving forward. Um, yeah, it's just as simple as that. So, the Dominators um, do not have a neutral gear. Gear 0 is just the gear that they all start in. Um, it's not neutral, it's just the gear that they can move in. Um, so you're going to use the up arrow to up shift, which will bring the vehicle from 80 miles an hour all the way over 100, and we're only in first gear out of four. And we're going to up shift again. Nope, I'm stalling it now because I wasn't going at fast enough speed. But now we're going too fast that we might throw Dom 3 off of the cliff. Um, let's not do that. <laughs> anyway, so you use the up arrow on your keyboard to upshift, and you use the down arrow on your keyboard to downshift. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do a demonstration. Uh, Nooch or reverse, it's going to turn on the backup camera, and it's going to say negative 1 for your gear selector. There we go. And then you're just going to upshift it back and 
back into gear and then you're just gonna drive or on a hill I do not think Dom 3 is enjoying this oh Chase just joined there we go now that we're finally off that hill anyways with all of that said I think that's basically it for the Dominator 3 and of course now my door doesn't want to open um, lovely. So now with all that said, I hope you have one fresh your day. I hope this tutorial was helpful on how to use the Dominator 3. Um, it was fairly simple. Um, I just had to go over it. I should have made this tutorial when I first made Dom 3, but I did not. But the tutorial is here now. So, hope you have one fresh your day, and of course, subscribe, and hope this video was helpful.